hi guys and girls and welcome to another episode of Cookshed a uh, YouTube channel where I share tips and handy hints and do the odd review uh, related to surfing, bodyboarding and some skating so today uh, it's just going to be a real quick one hopefully and it's all about uh, Velcro now I've just been noticing that Velcro on your leg ropes and even on your uh, wetsuit, some of the older wetsuits, um, they've, they've usually got Velcro tabs up around the back of the neck if you've got a back zip wetsuit. Um, yeah, there's, there's Velcro on a lot of different wetsuits and they can, it can be quite troublesome if not looked after properly. Um, now I'm not being dramatic, I've just found that Velcro, the Velcro on your uh, leg rope or arm rope for a bodyboard, um, if it's left like this open, it can actually um, damage other surfing equipment nearby. Uh, it can also damage the, the Velcro of the leg rope or arm rope or the wetsuit uh, itself. Um, now, I'm, I'll kind of I'll just show you what I mean here. I've got an old wetsuit. So this is just an old wetsuit. So this is an old wetsuit. I'm actually going to cut the legs off this one. Um, if you've seen my other cook shed video about cutting the legs off your wetsuit to make a long arm short leg one, if your old wetsuit is getting a bit past it. Um, so yeah, this one, the leg is a bit damaged, so it doesn't matter if I trash it, but I just want to show you what I mean. Like if you're throwing your boards in the car, um, or whatever, or in your room, and the leg ropes that are attached to the board uh, have the Velcro still out like this, and not closed, it can catch on, on your, it can catch on your uh, wetsuits, it can catch on oh, a whole bunch of things, your board covers, um, heaps of stuff. And it it actually damages it by always ripping it off, it it damages the the um, the material, whatever material it's hooked onto. And not just that, the material whatever material it rips at, it, it keeps some of it usually in the hooks of the Velcro. So it actually decreases the efficiency of the actual Velcro cuff um, that goes around your leg or arm and do what it was designed to do. So highly recommended that when you when you get out of the water, as soon as you get out of the water, like I know I know it's it's hard sometimes. You just want to get out of the water and get up the beach and dry off or whatever. Uh, you've got to get somewhere, get back to work. Um, just try and get in the habit, and that's what I've been trying to do. Like I can't believe it's taken me this long to, to, to form this habit. I should have done it years ago. Um, when you get out of the water and you've ripped this off your leg, um, just close the cuff up again. Or when you get back to the car or back to wherever your stuff is, yeah, just try and remember to close that cuff up again and that will stop it catching on things, like it gets caught on the carpet in the car as well, it gets caught on towels, all sorts of stuff, and that clogs up the teeth, stops it working, and also damages um, whatever whatever it's been clinging on to. So, yeah, try and get in the habit of closing that up. If you're, um, if you're going past your surfboard in the corner of the room or whatever, and you notice that the cuffs out, just close it up. It'll just save you so much um, time and money and things like that. It'll make your leg ropes or um, leashes, body wall leash, it'll make them last a lot longer. And the same goes for your surfboard, uh, sorry, your wetsuit um, tabs, the Velcro tabs. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit harder, but yeah, just try and make sure they're, f they're flapped down when they're not being used. That way they're not sticking up, the Velcro, the little Velcro tab on the back of the wetsuit is not sticking up to catch on, on things. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it. I said it was going to be a nice quick one. It's just something that I've been finding um, helps a lot, works a lot, helps my stuff last longer. And it's not as frustrating when you're trying to pull a board out of the car and the leg rope is um, stuck on something in there, like because I've left the cuff open, that can really annoy you if the surf's really good and you just want to get in there. Um, so yeah, just give it a try. As soon as you get out of the water, recuff your leash and it shouldn't give you as many problems. So if you've got a, um, a, a Velcro related uh, tip to save us all time and money, um, by all means share it with us below in the comments. Uh, if you found this video helpful in some way, just hit like. And if you want to see more tips like this and reviews and just stuff about surfing, bodyboarding and skating, uh, hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time here on Cook Shed. Thanks for dropping in. Catch up.